want you to hit me as hard as you can. What's up guys, it's Ashkel aka Ashi, and uh, the holidays are over, Christmas is over, and uh, I'm finally back with a new commentary. 2012 is upon us, and I got big things planned. So first off, we got Ted Hunter Your Eyes playing in the background, be sure to check out him and uh, his channel. There's links up in the corner that go straight to his channel, you can check out his channel, all his other songs, his SoundCloud, everything like that. You can also download them if you'd like on his SoundCloud for free. Uh, we're playing some Golf of Omen Squad Deathmatch, and uh, I gotta tell you, I was not happy when I first uh, saw that uh, to get to L85A2, you gotta you gotta play a certain game mode, and it brought me back to Black Ops and how you had to run capture the flag. You had to play capture the flag to get uh, you had to actually capture flags and capture the flag with Marathon uh, on as a perk to get Marathon Pro, and Marathon Pro, as you know, for any rusher is an absolute necessity. So uh, it brings me back to that, oh, we're going to force you to play this game mode because you really don't want to play it and we want you to play it. I don't want to play this. It's horrible. <laughs> uh, but I do have a few tips for you guys. Um, first off, run in a full squad. Seriously, it's three other people. And, you know, I got Cold, F, uh, Infinity, <laughs> I got Infinity with me, and Wade, and uh, it's a couple of Cold's uh, friends, and Infinity is actually, I think, a viewer. And run with a full squad. If you run with a full squad, you, get, you, you can depend on these people. You don't have to sign up with randoms and go, like, all these people playing this mode right now are trying to get the L85A2. They're trying to literally win five games, so it's tough competition at times. A lot of people are noticing that, and I played with this, and it took about two or three games to really get a hold of uh, the the competition inside of uh, inside of the game. I, I don't know if we're playing against other actual full squads. I think there's one empty team, but as you can see, the next thing, the next step I got for you is actually either get a hold of the lab as soon as you can, or destroy it. So as you can see, we never. I don't think we got into the lab at all this game. Maybe once. Um, it's actually. At this part here, you're gonna see why uh, why they're stuck. They're stuck in between those trees. It's actually glitched completely out. But as you saw at the beginning of the game, uh, it spawned like literally beside an enemy team. Um, as far as I know, and I didn't play too much in Back Home D2, but it's supposed to spawn in the middle of the map or something like that, isn't it? In in, in this game, it spawns all over the map randomly, and it has a chance of spawning right beside an enemy team. So right then we're just like get your get your engineer kids out. Everyone was engineer and we all like blasted with rockets. And as you can see you got two kills right at the beginning of the game because they were trying to repair it and get inside of it. So that's my second tip is if you're if you're in the lab and you're getting blasted, make sure you have a person in third person uh, third person watching your back to see if someone's C4 on you. And if it's damaged to the point where it's gonna blow up, abandon ship. Get out of it. Like, make sure you're not giving away free kills. Four free kills awarded to an enemy team for being C4 or anything like that, you, <laughs> no, it's no good. It's no good at all. So, yeah, as you can see right now, I'm completely stuck in this bush. I'm like, okay, switch uh, infinity, because I, I was like, maybe it's just me. I'm being retarded, but I was going into the ground. But when I popped out, it, it like popped up, up above ground. And, an enemy team surrounds us on the hill here and just like 
completely starts taking shots at us so we all i think we all died or something me and infinity at least did i, I get sniped here by uh, the new sniper rifle which is my next weapon i need to get uh, so 2012 is coming and uh, my holidays were really great. I spent time with my best friend on Christmas Day, so I had to, I had really no time for videos. I spent time with my best friend. Um, I went to my sister's house for dinner. Uh, I, I, my mom cooked dinner at home here. Just food coma, just overdose on turkey, on mashed potatoes, and everything like that. And it's just it's hard to get out of bread because on top of that. I got so much chocolate for Christmas, it's ridiculous. I got so much chocolate, all these treats have been hard to get out of bed. Last night I slept at least at least 13 hours just because I've been I, I've gotten lazy. <laughs> I've gotten completely lazy. And uh, I did miss doing commentary though. I took about a week off, uh, not just because I didn't know how many videos I'd be able to put out or anything like that, just because I know all of you, just like me, were spending time with your family and friends and everything like that, and I didn't want to be like, why aren't you watching my videos? So uh, yeah, I took a week off, but uh, we ha I have a lot of plan, a lot of plans for January. Um, if you guys did miss it, I'll put right here a link to the last video that I put up. I put it up yesterday. Uh, it's a coming soon. It's kind of a teaser for a new series that I'm going to be putting out in January, and it is my uh, Battlefield 3 multiplayer weapons guide. And uh, first weapon we're going to be looking at, as you can see from the teaser, is the FAMAS. And uh, I, I think I'm going to be doing the, the Back to Karkin uh, weapons first, and then if I got time, move on back to the old weapons, maybe put some of the new, but I'm expecting a new DLC to be out by February, if not by then, and I, I'm, I'm planning on putting out one of these a week, so 10 weeks, I, I'm thinking there'll probably be new weapons by then, new DLC, hopefully, hopefully they put new weapons in the DLC, I think, I think there's room for more weapons in the game, I really do, um, but that's, uh, that's one of the series I planned on top of doing normal commentaries and montages and montages and all those sorts of things. I, I have to, I'm not going to announce what the other ones are really yet just because I got to figure out really uh, if, if they'll work, uh, if the people will do them with me. I got I to gotta really uh, check with some people to find out. Uh, but yeah, be sure to click on the screen right there for the teaser to the new series. Tell me what you guys think. That is the intro to the series. It's a... Uh, a template I found on YouTube actually that I'm actually gonna have to give uh, a little props to someone later but uh, yeah I got a lot of plans and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and gameplay uh, go out don't be shy get a squad going with uh, you know some viewers even here post a comment be like I want to get the LA582 who's who's down and leave your gamer tag and I'm sure there'll be tons of people willing to help you out just don't ask me because I'm not playing this goddamn mode anymore <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the commentary. Enjoy Ted Hunter. Be sure to check out his channel, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, get him! Get him. I got him. No, no, I got him. I got him.